How old is Van Zeeks again? Uh, I'll look it up next time. I mean, I think 19. Like three I think like 3,142. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thousand. The answer is that the book belongs to the couple who owned the house where the defendant had his lodgings. Man, that was so overdramatic. A certain Whoa. Mr. and Mrs. Garadep. The landlords. And whether this is some extraordinary coincidence or some kind of fate at work, I don't know, but... Of all the people in London, one of the six chosen for jury duty in this courtroom today is none other than uh. Mrs. Garadeb herself. Oh, oh my goodness. Me? I'm here? Now? In this I, very room? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Um, I did want to bring this up because somebody- Excuse me, I mean, snubble. <laughs> uh, somebody brought this up in the, the YouTube comments, but apparently, I don't know if it was still active at this time, but in earlier England, the jury members would be like people who knew the defendant personally, so they could like be a judge of their character, which of course is a very oh. flawed system, but I can oh, see yeah, where they extremely. went for it. Uh, yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> I, I think you must be mistaken, sir. I'm... I'm... Uh... Mrs. Joan Faradeb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Mr. Garadeb's no. wife. I'm his maid. No, you are not doing this right now. <sighs> Things would be so much easier if you would just drop the pretense. <sighs> All right then. How about a simple question for you? Are, Are you, you not, 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 <laughs> not, 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 Mr. Garadeb's wife? Have you um, never, not at one point, yes. never, always been Mr. <laughs> Garadeb's wife? Um, maybe? Maybe? Got you, you son of a bitch. You'll hang for this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Game set> there. <laughs> Have you ever seen this book in Mr. Garadeb's house? I, I would never presume to know all of the books he keeps, sir. Objection! This is outlandish behavior. This woman is the accused slant lady, you say? You implicate this hard-working member of the public. You besmirch her without a shred of evidence. Doc, I'm, I'm getting there. Give me a moment. Let me finish this. Your actions are unforgivable. You're unforgivable. Objection! Uh, uh, uh. This is not mere conjecture. The defense happens to know that on the day in question, at almost exactly the same time as the victim was stabbed on the pavement below, the Garadebs had an Asiatic lion in their home. <laughs> Another no, Mr. incident. Mr. Narahodo, that was the other. Th that he oh, said that's not what happened. Wait, but Sean said, "Fuck." No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Another incident was taking place in the room on the top floor of Mr. Ga Mr. and Mrs. Garadebs' house. Good Lord. What sort of incident, Council? A fire, my lord. I love this track. This is a very good one. <laughs> Fair to say it was. Happened in the blink of an eye, you know. The whole place filled with smoke. Couldn't see a belly thing. Didn't take long for the fire to spread, of course. Belly furniture started going up as well. Worst of it is, I lost my favorite. A book called The Lion's Pride. The Lion's Pride. I love that face, it's so good. By Jove! The very same title that's the subject of this debate! Oh dear me! Attention. This is risible. All you've told the court is that a book by the same name was involved in a fire. In which case, it would be reasonable to assume that it was burnt to ashes. 
and entirely unreasonable to infer that it magically removed itself to the scene of the crime. Perhaps it would make some more sense if I told you that the cause of the fire was marital discord. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> also, Airlink, I do have to point out because, listen, big Monty Python stand over here. Mm -hmm. What he said, risible. Oh, There's yeah. something funny about the name Biggest Dickers. <laughs> Do you find it visible? <laughs> and I say the name Biggest Dickers. <laughs> Such a. It's a very Anybody good who thing. hasn't seen that, fucking no. go look up Biggest Dickus uh, Life of Brian. But don't Google Credit. Biggest don't, Dickus. Don't Google that. Make sure you're on, like, <laughs> YouTube that. and you include yeah. the life of Brian yeah. Hart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Van Zeeks is like, <laughs> Biggest Dickus is what they called me back in college. <laughs> <sighs> Without going into details. And if you're wondering, no, I am not well endowed. <laughs> <laughs> Without going into details, it appears that Miss that Mrs. Garadeb was considerably enraged. Apparently, she continued to attack Mr. Garadeb, even amid the flames. Oh, how awful! I can't even imagine being so horrid to the one you love. Can you, Rolly? Absolutely not, sir! Mark Patricia would never raise a finger against me, sir. Had all my favorite old novels in that case. But as soon as the fire got hold of them, that was it. Whoosh! Up in smoke. Then the wife started hurling things at me. There was I, back up against the window under heavy enemy fire, sending out her books coming in, books incoming, ten to the dozen. The man had his back up against the window. Oh, continue, counsel. <laughs> and he had burning books thrown at him. Goodness gracious! Uh, are you suggesting that the book was thrown through a window and, and landed coincidentally at the scene of the crime? I mean... Stranger things have happened in this franchise, so you know. <laughs> no, a thorough investigation of the surrounding area was conducted the very evening of the incident. And there is no report of the Garadab's window pane being broken. That's quite true. We also have no sign of broken glass when we visited yeah, the Garadab's house. They just opened the window to let the smoke from the fire yeah. out. But is it not conceivable that the window was open at the time in... Not even remotely. Let us not forget the season and the chilling weather that accompanies it. Hey dog, there was a motherfucking fire in the room, you idiot. No Londoner would ever leave a window open in the middle of winter. Ugh, Reno's game fucking object to that. Don't make us go through a whole rigmarole just to object to this. Does the defense postulate this scenario in all seriousness, counsel? Do you earnestly claim that the book found at the scene was a flaming projectile thrown by Mr. Garadeb's wife? Yes, that, that, that's Joan Garadeb's forward B. <laughs> Neutral special. <laughs> Fiery book throw. <laughs> I believe fiery it's... book throw! Fiery book throw! <laughs> fiery book throw! Uh, bouquet fire! <laughs> <laughs> bookcase fire! Oh, that's better, damn it! Bookcase fire! Bookcase fire! <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's a possibility, my lord. That's quite enough! Is it Joan? Yep. <laughs> well, I hope that everyone can see you for what you are now, you little foreign trickster. You know what? I'm going to burn this city. <laughs> Great London Fire, 
It's on Ryan it's now. <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> we burnt this city. We burnt this city because you're racist. <laughs> Sato, go get me some gin, some rags, and a way to start and a way to light a fire. <laughs> In Molotov, we, we gin and we gin. A top cocktail of this bitch. <laughs> I just, I need the gin. I need the gin to drink the rags, cause I'm sweaty, and the thing to start a fire to start the big fire. <laughs> you call yourself a lawyer, but you're just a coward, a mean coward, a stinky doo doo head. <laughs> really? You're going with that? <laughs> Claiming that our little tiff set the whole neighborhood alight. Honestly. Well, you just confirmed that you are, in fact, his wife, so. Mm. Implying that I'm merely posing as a maid for appearance's sake. How could you? It's nothing to do with this beastly case. Not any of it. All you've done is sully our family's name. No, I, I assure you, that was never my intention. Dragging an upstanding citizen's name through the mud simply to divert attention from your failing defense. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? She just slapped him. <laughs> I should, I should box your ears. That's what I should do. It's utterly unforgivable. And she really is violent. Yeah. Uh-huh. Too right. Here we go again. Let's her go. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, not the, the voice. voice. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> How long have we sat here now, listening to this Nipponese spouting out his fancy foreign theories? What the fuck? But think about it. At the end of the day, the only person who could possibly have stabbed the victim is that little hunchback with the moustache. And he ran away from the scene too. I do declare you're right. It's true. Yes, what did I tell you? Makes sense to me. Hey, sorry, what's that? Well, it would appear that the ladies and gentlemen of the jury are once again in full agreement. What is your position, Lord Van Ziggs? This is the fourth glass he's had in this case. <laughs> in truth, my lord, <laughs> I feel these have been. I mean, has he drink it? Has he actually drunk a drop of it, though? I don't think he has today. That's true. He just pours, sniffs, and throws. Yeah, yeah he's pours, sniffs, and throws. He doesn't actually drink anything. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that what every good sommelier does? This, this is his Poor neutral Poor sniff throw. <laughs> this is his neutral bee. <laughs> In truth, my lord, I feel these have been unnecessarily protracted proceedings. I'm going to give you a very must... necessarily protracted beating. Oh! oh! Got him! Got him. But then one must always exercise patience in order to savor the best vintage. I wouldn't know, because I just keep throwing it. No! <laughs> Wait! The mystery of the fourth book still hasn't been... Yeah! <laughs> it's so good! It is great. If books are your predilection, my learned friend, study them on your own time. That man just put his foot on a table? Damn, he's flexible. What? No, forgive, forgive the discourtesy this time? <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> In that case, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, would you like to throw your fireballs now? <laughs> You will now state your individual decisions regarding the defendant's culpability for the court to hear. Guilty! Great. Guilty. 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 Cool. Motherfucker. 
fucking Mario Party looking ass mini game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for that unambiguous response. That's twice now. It's over. Mr. Naruhoto, don't give up! Swedish guy, but it's not possible. <laughs> you must believe in yourself. M Miss Susato, was that you? Uh, uh, um, have you forgotten? Again, why was that left unambiguous who was saying that? Like, of course it was Susato. I know. There wasn't a reveal there. It could have been anyone. It's over yet. <laughs> who could it have been? Your... You're not suggesting. Of course. The defense has the right to another summation examination at this point. I don't want to, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. Let me go you home. You still convince the jurors to change their minds. You have one more chance. <sighs> My lord, the defense asks to exercise its right to a summation examination. Again. Again. <laughs> you believe you still have tricks up your sleeve. I don't intend to trick anybody. I intend to uncover the truth. This is no time to be downcast. As long as there's a chance, I have to stay strong and determined. Oh, shit. Oh. I was about to ask, how close are we? Continue. Oh, to the what end? A weird Not point. What a weird spot to put a to be continued. It kind of is. Also, having two summation examinations is what I'm still assuming is early in the case. Feels like really awkward pacing. Yeah. I can't remember if there's a third. I think it might just be this one and this one. Hmm. And then, yeah. Because we're, we're still, we're about probably a third of the way through. No Maybe way, that. it's that long? Yeah. Oh my god. Should we not just do the next, it's only 920, should we not just do the next summation examination? Yeah, we can. I think we should, honestly. Because uh, we, yeah, we, we will not, we only have like 90 minutes of gameplay at, yeah. at this point. Yeah. I have considered the defense's the defense counsel's request for a further summation examination of the jury. And I have determined that they can't do it. The end. Guilty. No. <laughs> oh yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a really weird place to put it to be continued, huh? The other the other two thirds Wes was talking about are just Ryan and uh Susan getting drunk at a pub. <laughs> Oh, the chicken nandos. Put a little chicken nandos. <laughs> Just like a tiny little one in the edit, Zach. Sure. Okay, great. Oh, you're And I have determined that the court must have heard the defense's judicial right in this procedure. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, counsel, you will now proceed with your second summation examination. <laughs> My my lord, are you, are you mocking us? No, are you mocking us? I be mocking you. <laughs> I presume the jury is ready, Mr. Foreman. We are, my lord. Yeah, very good. In that case, I must ask each of you now to state clearly and concisely for the court. The grounds on which you find the defendant guilty of this crime. Really quick, one thing I want to know is, do we know anything about where this knife came from? No, it was just a commonplace folding knife in the victim's back. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The accused left behind evidence at the scene, didn't he? Those three books of his. If there was some novel alternative... Ugh, I was almost... 
If there was some novel alternative explanation about how the victim was stabbed, I might be... Oh my god, I'm trying to do what's her name. I can't think of her voice. It's, it's Even a, it's if the woman was throwing books, it can't be related to this crime if the window was closed, can it? Okay, well, we're gonna break that one, I'm sure. Dear me, it was only a little book. Hardly life-threatening, even with a direct hit. That has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Look, I just want to get this over with. If I don't bring home some pay tonight, I'll be in a tiny bit of trouble. Okay, well, I'm going to press you, because what you just said is nothing again. Uh-huh. Don't you think of it? We had a fire at home a while ago. <laughs> it gave me the sneezes. Okay, so we're going to press him, and he's going to tell us that he had to open a window. Man, juries number five and six are not interested in this case. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Like they do not give a shit about the actual case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Considerably more tangible arguments from all members of the jury this time around, it seems. No. With one notable exception, of course. My learned student friend was unable to find fault in the previous witness testimony. <sighs> So the court must accept the fact that it was indeed the accused seen fleeing from the scene. And moreover, no one else was even at the scene to commit the crime. Well, if the eyewitnesses are correct, it would seem as if the conclusion is somewhat set in stone. I fail to see how it can be argued any other way. That means, I'm afraid, that during the summation examination, it's essential that you establish some other tangible explanation for the facts. But how? What would even constitute a tangible explanation here? Isn't it obvious? Who stabbed the woman and how? Those two details are all you need to provide. Simply give us a name and a method by which the attack was conducted. <sighs> and here I was, thinking this might be hard. But Mr. Narodo, you have to do it. Otherwise, this really will be where the trial ends. Uh, no pressure, then. No, there's a lot of pressure, actually. <laughs> Quite the opposite. There's a ton of pressure. <laughs> That's quite enough preamble. Proceed with the summation examination, please. I presume you are prepared, counsel? Oh, yes, my lord. All right, Rinosuke, focus your mind now. Salap. Double? Rinosuke used double slap. It was super effective. Clearly, the key to this summation examination is going to be Joan number four, the maid. Or should I say, Mrs. Garadeb. We have a book that had disappeared from the Garadeb's house on the evening of the incident. And the fourth book found in the victim's hand. There must be a way to link the two. Yes, that's what we have to find. Using every technique I've learnt in my short career so far, Whatever it takes. Don't forget to keep an eye on Mrs. Garrido and how she reacts, even to the things other people say. Oh, thank you, Susato. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, look at them in the background. Yeah, they're Hang just now. chilling. Let them sit down so we can take a nap. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they have no reason to still be standing there. <laughs> uh, let's jump to them really quick. Five and six. Hold it! You just want to get this over with? How can you yeah. sit there and say something like that? A man's future is at stake here. Didn't we literally just have this conversation? Yeah, this is like <laughs> the same thing. Well, him and me both then, like I said before. What? Yeah. I told you already. I'm a day laborer, aren't I? If I don't bring home some readies with me tonight, you'll find me floating face down in the Thames tomorrow morning. What? You heard me. 
my missus didn't want to miss about, you know? She could be fierce, but Okay, what right. is this case with a what is this case with you being violent right, wives? Guys? Why what am the I right? Fuck? <laughs> right, everybody? <laughs> hey yes! Say it with me I now. Do, this is, I do this have, is getting I, old now. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a bad case of hives. Now that you mention it. <sighs> Another shiny example of marital bliss, then. <laughs> King did John, she, did, Mario did, wrote this still case. Wrote this, Shiftakumi still wrote this game, right? Uh, he did, yes. Is he having problems uh, in his marriage right now? <laughs> I don't want to look that up. <laughs> Chat, don't tell them that it was actually me who wrote all the jokes in this case. Shut up, sexist Mario. <laughs> oh, I get out of here. Ow! God damn it. A situation like this cropped up the other day. It was, well, um... Do you know, it's funny, but I can't quite remember. What? S sorry it was too frightening, that's the thing. I must have blocked it out. No. What? Helpful. I wonder if Mr. Beat will ever be dragged into the Thames by his scarf. What? Don't even go there, Mr. Sato. <laughs> there must be some way to jog his memory about this. What? What, what the fuck was that? I'm sure if we press a different thing. Uh, all right, let's press this guy. Hold it! Does that have anything to do with your decision about the defendant's culpability in this case? Sorry, what's that? You'll have to speak up, lad. <sighs> Could you tell us more about the fire? It was last winter. My grandchildren baked me a lovely cake on my birthday. I had 75 candles on the top it did. What a sight to behold it was. It was the start of the first London fire. <laughs> you put candles <laughs> on a cake? Was, was that some kind of devil worship? That's very good. Of course not! It was an angel cake to celebrate my birthday, obviously. That's incredible. And the devil worshipper! Incredible. It seems that's a common custom here in Great Britain, Mr. Naruheto. What the I fuck? I didn't realize is wrong everyone with them? here is Satan worshippers. <laughs> the Church of England anyway. is fucked. <laughs> anyway, I busted all of my puff to blow them out. Mustered all my puff puff. <laughs> Only I must have blown wrong somehow. The flames didn't go out, but the candles went flying all over the room. Damn you. But that seems like a problem of the people placing them in the cake. <laughs> the furniture caught and everything went up. The place filled with smoke. Definitely sounds like devil worship to me. What? And by. The sneezes? I presume oh, you mean a cold. Go. But how did you catch a cold from a fire? No, I caught a heart. <laughs> <laughs> what a fiasco it was. The grandchildren, bless them, threw water over me as they tried to put out the flames. And then, because the whole room had filled up with smoke, of course, we had to open all the windows to clear it. Fucking god on, folks. The windows. The biting winter air rushed over me like the devil dancing on my grave again. See, they are devil worshippers. <laughs> devil worshippers! Burn him! <laughs> it seems you found out about me, Mr. Wright. Wow. Uh, Mr. Naruhoto. I was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> not the laughter with the thing on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is I so good. It, I caught a terrible cold from it. It put me in hospital for a while. I won't forget that birthday in a hurry. 
Hey folks, if you didn't know, me and Wes have cool voice mods that we use for the Delta Rune Let's Play, so enjoy that. <laughs> I knew it was devil worship all along. <laughs> Something about this old man's story is playing on my mind for some reason. Yeah, no shit, Ryan. We need to demonstrate who, apart from Mr. Natsume, could have attacked the young woman on the street. As well as how he or she could have done it. Yes, but... As they, as they said, Britain is a land of tolerance, <laughs> so women can murder too. <laughs> yes, but once again, the jurors' statements are full of personal prejudice. And open prejudice. A lot of them seem convinced <laughs> they're right, even in the face of logical arguments to the contrary. I think you're going to need to pit them against each other to force them to accept an alternative explanation. Yes. I don't necessarily need to find contradictions between their assertions. Just a connection might do the trick. Okay, thank you, video game. Alright, I'll see what I can do. If anything stands out, I'll go in for a strike. That's the spirit. Uh... I mean, I guess we pit this with the old man then, huh? I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, no, okay, he did change his statement, so. Okay, uh, yeah. That works. Uh, Get him! Objection! These two Joe statements shit! <laughs> clearly contradict one another. <laughs> that got me good. <laughs> He's gonna kill me, he is! <laughs> Don't do it, sir! Please! <laughs> they do! Oh, exactly, counsel! Don't point at me again! I told you he wasn't me! Yeah? What's that you say? Uh, speak up, lad! Speak up! Juror number three, do you see? Oh, me? See, see what, sir? Did you hear juror number six's account of his birthday celebrations last year? It seems, despite being a Londoner, he once opened his windows in the middle of winter. Well, yes, of course, because it was an emergency. I mean, obviously, if the room was filled with smoke from a fire, then you'd be mad not to open the... You fucking idiot. Oh! <laughs> exactly. On the day in question, at the time of the incident, there was a fire in the Garadeb household, and Mr. Garadeb had the following to say about it. Quote, the whole place filled with smoke. Oh my. Oh, oh. my hat! Oh, she's reacting. Oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, do I hit pursue on that? Is that how this thing works, this mechanic? Yeah, you can. Yeah. It'll, it'll... It'll change the line of reason okay. questioning completely. Juror number four, do you have something to say about that? Shot, 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 <laughs> shot, 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 Everybody. Shot, shot. Everybody. <laughs> Mrs. Garadet. How oh, dare you, me? What is the meaning of this? How dare you imply that I'm hiding who I really am? It's imperative that you confirm something for the court. So please, it's time to drop the pretense now. What is it? When the fire started in your house that day, did you or did you or your husband open the window? Well, I, I beg your pardon? What are you insinuating? The room would have been thick with smoke after the carpet and the bookcase caught fire as they did. In a situation like that, it's inconceivable that you wouldn't have opened the window. And what if we did? I mean, I, I, I have a got you moment, I guess. Oh, all right then. Yes, you're right. My husband was frantically trying to open the window. Which can't have been easy, since I continued to give him a justly deserved book battery. Even though your house was on fire. 
Oh, you never stop throwing until the anger subsides. Oh my God. It would be terribly bad for the nerves to do otherwise. You keep throwing hands. <laughs> of course. I should have realized. You keep throwing out these accusations and you can catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> That's a significant step forward, Mr. Narahodo. You've managed to establish that the window was open. We simply must have that added to Mrs. Garideb's formal statement. Oh, so now we have to... Now you mention it, yes. The window was open at the time. I'd clean forgotten, but it's true. So now we have to pit this? Wait. Now he thinks the window's open. Okay. So they're not in a contract. I mean... Do, yeah, do you still pit them together, or are they no longer, or does it... Does what are the really first con- twos again? Uh, if there was some novel alternative explanation about how the victim was stabbed, which we don't know anything about fucking stabbing so far, and the accused left behind evidence in the scene, three books of his. I mean, that almost goes with the book coming out the window, but... What did they say again? The window could have been open when the woman was throwing books. The, the window was open. He's nothing. Uh, and then the other guy talks about his birthday. Um, uh, I mean, we can we can press some other people because that we might can, jog the memory of the other guy. Yeah. We can press one and two still, I suppose. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to press her because I think we can get some explanation here. So you might be willing to change your decision, you mean? Oh, my. Such delight on your face, but I'm afraid I shan't be swayed by emotion. Despite what you may think of me, I am a very modern, metropolitan, and rational woman. A very model of a modern, metropolitan, rational woman? Yes. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's, it was great. Really great. <laughs> If one reads the morning papers, it's all forgotten by tea time, isn't it? So why read them in the first place? Are you an Oscar Wilde character? What the fuck? <laughs> you see, modern, metropolitan, and rational thinking, wouldn't you say? I mean, that's, uh, this is. I it. keep myself doubly uneducated. It's the <laughs> modern thing to do. <laughs> and not at all extreme. As I see it, an overwhelmingly suspicious Japanese man has been implicated by overwhelmingly strong testimony. So despite one or two minor puzzlements, I do declare that the man is overwhelmingly guilty. Modern, metropolitan, and rational logic, wouldn't you say? Overwhelmingly. But us modern gals are always delighted to embrace new fads, you know. Oh, I get what her character is. Yeah. She, she's a, she's an American ophile. Uh, she loves America. She loves. So I think she's doing, she's doing southernisms. I mean, she loves, yeah, what, chasing the newest fad, whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah, because <clears throat> she's saying gals, and I do declare. So mm. I think she's. I do declare. All about the she's all about the U.S. I guess. Mm-hmm. So I'd be happy to. So I'd be only too happy to consider an exciting new theory if you come up with one. If you could come up with one. I'd be happy to do that too, if only I could. Let's do our very best not to disappoint the modern and metropolitan young lady. Susato. Right. Uh-uh. I'm glad you omitted rational there. That's okay. That's kind of funny. Uh, well, I mean, well, but it's something with the knife, which we have fucking nothing on. So. Yeah, this is, her. that did not help oh, wait, but she, she changed, she changed her testimony, though. There was some novel? There was some novel alternative explanation. No. No, that's the same. Uh, that's the same. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was different. No. All right, let's check this dude. Hold it! What's up, fair play? But as we now know, there were four books, not three. Well, what difference is that does it make? There's every possibility that the fourth book, in fact, belongs to the defendant's landlord. Yes, that's the part I have a problem with. 
Sorry. Well, at the point the woman was stabbed, this landlord fellow was at home, wasn't he? Enjoying a fiery scrape with his wife or something, you said. That's not exactly how I put it, no. Well, anyway, the point is, the fellow and his wife were somewhere else when it happened. Hmm. I think that's what you call a strong alibi. So it couldn't have been the landlord who did it, which only leaves the Nipponese fella. Honestly, I can't see what all this palaver is about. It's a done deal, isn't it? I suppose it is, since I have nothing witty left to say. Well, that's the save data stream right there. <laughs> uh, did he change? Uh, I mean, maybe it is just... No. Oh, you know what we... Because we've pressed everybody. Oh, I guess we you know, technically... You no, yeah, well, we got her to change Yeah, you haven't pressed... You haven't pressed her with her new statement. Okay. Hold it. True. The fourth book found at the scene of the crime shows the very obvious signs of fire damage. And the title of the book is The Lion's Pride. The same title, in fact, as the book that Mr. Garadeb told us he had been reading. Oh! <laughs> Well, I really couldn't say. On the day in question, did you or did you not throw at your husband the copy of the Lion's Pride that he had been reading? I did. Mm. It was the first thing I could lay my hands on, so I hurled it straight at him. And now you come to mention it, yes. He was rather enjoying reading it, you're right. Why did you not reveal this information to the court from the outset? <laughs> I think he's dodging her. Yeah, he's like moving it a little bit. Like, I, I think he's going like... <laughs> because I couldn't, you insolent little man. I didn't remember. At times like that, you pick up and throw whatever you can lay your hands on, as you well know. I really don't. I barely noticed I was throwing a book, oh. much less the title of it. What the fuck are you thinking right now? Oh, he's remembering his own, the uh, fight he had with I'm his wife. I'm thinking about, oh, I'm shit. thinking about how raw these guns are, mate. Yeah. Excuse me. What is it, Joa number five? You know something? I have to go pee. Damn it. I'm not playing the pee I've... song for you too. <laughs> I, I remember what it was. That memory I blocked out. Ah. It was listening to that, to what this granny was saying. But it all flooding back. She's, she's 38. She's 38. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling a granny, you Cheeky devil, I'm Mrs. Garadeb, or the maid, I'll have you know. <laughs> I'm not sure well, which just... one. <laughs> well, that one just kind of, uh... That's really funny. <laughs> the man doesn't even flinch. Please tell me that's be not because he's so used to being well, hit all well, the time. Well. I think that's just because he's insanely ripped. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was about two weeks ago now. I just got back home after work like. I put my hands in my pocket for the wages I just earned that day, and I nearly died. It over just dramatic. keeled over and died. God damn it. There was a hole. Every last penny had dropped out. Oh dear. What a disaster. You haven't heard the half of it, boy. Oh? The wife was cutting up some chicken at the time. Uh, I could hardly get the words out, but I told her straight. I lost a day's wages, love. Next thing I knew, the blade was whistling past my ear, stuck into the wall next to me, it did, about an inch deep. Jesus. No words. No words. <laughs> Just terror. Only Zool. <laughs> <laughs> I could smell it then, you know. The... 
god-awful stench of the Thames. Did somebody say Godot? No. What? God awful. Did somebody say God oh? Yeah. That no. was that was nothing. <laughs> I was sure I was going to end up face down in the muddy banks that night, I could tell you. Now, that's a real disaster, isn't it? I'll never use the word lightly again. <laughs> anyway, the point I'm trying to make is this. When women lose their rank, they'll throw anything at you. Knives, hatchets, hammers, you name it. So is this supposed Knives. to is this supposed to yeah, is this supposed to trickle off the statement about if there's novel a new, theories? Yeah. That's yeah. That's what I wanted to see if there was any way that the knife could be related to like a military man, because it could have been she just threw the knife out the window. Uh, but, gotcha. And it fell on the woman, which would be hilarious. Mr. Narahoto. You mustn't think that all women are so short-tempered and unrefined. Susato, if you do, wasn't, I'll kill you. Wasn't, oh, shit. No, no, I wasn't thinking that. Good. You better not. <laughs> Throwing household objects at people is... Well, it's so uncivilized. At least attack with honor. Use a bow or the like. <laughs> what? A attack? Who are you going to attack? Not me! Hmm... Never mind. Anyway, this man's words could be rather significant, I think. All right. We'll come back to the bow and arrow thing later, if I dare. <laughs> All right, so yeah, these are say woman in rage will hurl almost rage anything. Woman in rage will hurl almost anything at you. The kitchen knife really brought that home to me. Okay, so oh, there you go. Get that with two. Yes. Objection! These oh, two shit. statements, <laughs> these two statements clearly have a deep, deeply significant connection. Good grief! You mean they don't contradict each other? <laughs> Explain yourself at once, Council. Juror number two, do you think perhaps that this could be one such novel alternative? Oh my! Whatever do you mean? An alternative explanation as to how the victim was stabbed in the back. What are you talking about? We've demonstrated that the fourth book, The Lion's Pride, was found at the scene of the crime. It originated in Mr. Garadeb's room on the top floor of his house. Therefore, it's equally possible that some other object besides the book could have found its way from the Garadeb household to the street below. Uh, what's that now? After all, Mrs. Garadeb could have thrown any number of different objects at her husband. Isn't that right, Jura number four? What are you insinuating now, you... you little bean pole? Excuse you? I'm beginning to think that, ever since the true origins of this book came to light, perhaps she's had a feeling that this might be what happened. Now you listen here, you Eastern Geller. As the foreman of this jury, I demand a straight answer. You give us this yarn about some other object making its way out of the house, but what? What was it? I'm really taking a big gamble here. That was a bold accusation to make, but I haven't any real evidence to back it up. But I'm certain that at the very least, this warrants further investigation. All right, Mr. Foreman, I'll try to explain the defense's theory. The other object that found its way from the Garadeb household to the scene of the yeah. crime was... You got it. My lawyer's band. <laughs> <laughs> Take that! And the reason that it's found its way onto my arm this afternoon is because it was me who committed the crime. Oh, damn it. <laughs> got myself again. Me? Jova number four. Mrs. Garadeb. Oh, the maid! <laughs> what now? I must apologize in advance for this. But I need you to confirm something else for the court. This knife. Have you ever seen this knife before? Oh! Uh, good! 
Good Lord, Council! What on earth are you doing? I'm just showing the knife to the juror, really close into Have her eyes. Have you seen this knife? <laughs> tell me! <laughs> tell me, you bastard! That's the weapon that was launched into the victim's back, man! Back man! <laughs> back man! <laughs> My lord, remember that when the victim was attacked, Mr. and Mrs. Garadeb were in the throes of an argument. Mrs. Garadeb was hurling anything she could at her, at her husband, who'd been backed up against the window. A window that had been opened to clear the smoke, and through which a book sailed to land at the crime scene. You can't seriously believe that! The book was found in the victim's grasp! Are you saying that he flew out the window and across the street to land neatly in her hand? I mean, she probably bent down to pick it up. Yeah, she probably looked at it, found it, uh, and then... She bent down, and while she was picking up the book, the knife landed in the exact spot on her back. Okay, I think that is what they are going for. Huh? Even my missus hasn't got a name like that. <laughs> yes, I admit. There are many details we don't yet understand. But that's the point. That's precisely why. We must not allow this trial to end. Not right now. Oh my. Ah. Mrs. Garadeb, your answer please. Have you seen this knife before or not? Oh, ah, uh, um. That was uh, certainly one of the weaker breakdown sprites I've seen in uh, Ace Attorney. My lord! Uh, <clears throat> I wish to change my decision. Oop. <laughs> God damn it. I'm a woman of my word, after all. Thank you, madam. <laughs> we didn't even do anything. Yes, I agree. I certainly don't see this coming, but... I just don't think it would be right for this trial to come to an end, now with so many unanswered questions. Mr. Foreman! I'd have to agree. Not that I think the granny did it, mind. Yes, you know what? I'm not quite happy about this at the moment either. All together now, ladies and gents. The old man's just like, I wait, still wait, think Garrett, she fucking did it. <laughs> I say we burger at the steak. <laughs> In the name of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> As Satan wills it. We quick, somebody fix my birthday candles. <laughs> I hate the like music it plays behind it. I love the music it plays behind it. <laughs> We... we... did it! Oh, congratulations, Mr. Norodo! So, as a result of the defense's summation examination, a number of jurors' leanings have changed. Two jurors called guilty against four now calling innocent. Accordingly, the opinion of this court is divided. And this trial will continue. Yeah. Get fucked, Van Zeke. That's that's a great place to stop. No, I was gonna say that's honestly. an incredible spot to stop. <laughs> really don't know why the to be continued was not here. Yeah. 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 Uh well folks. We're going to go to art, but that is going to do it for another week's stream of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer again. You can catch this live on twitch.tv slash team. And if you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash team. We'd really appreciate that. But until next time, court is adjourned. Folks, starting off art for this week, we've got Beck with the great Ace Attorney Chronicles was filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> I mean, that's how they became the greatest Look attorney at them bunch. all. It's really good. <laughs> I do look like at all. Look at all the goobers. Mm -hmm. 
That's really cute. Thank you, Beck. James! Uh, first off, with an iris, which is really, really cute. I love this. Uh, Gotta love her. Uh -huh. I love the I love, shadow, too. Yeah, the shadow. The shadow is oh my super gosh, the shadow impressive. Is great. And a drawing of Bridge, Bridge from the aquarium. wedding. Damn. It's so good. Got the wedding picture down, yeah. uh, down path there. Yeah. It's really good. I love the out of context. There's just like fish swimming around. It looks Bridge. like it looks like Bridge is visiting an aquarium. I, well, fun Which fact. Which isn't Wes. entirely not true. Yeah. Uh, the the wedding was at a zoo, and the the reception hall had a, a wall that was entirely like a, a giant aquarium. It was really cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. It was a it was a gorgeous venue. Yeah, uh -huh. honestly. The reception hall, especially. Nothing, nothing but the best for the slam man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dahlia, with a really cute drawing of Gina. Holy shit! Wow. Yes. I can't wait to see more of her. I really like her design. Same, same. This is awesome. The little suspenders poking out. This is great. Yeah. Damn. Yen, uh, with some comics, we got Barry Van Zeke's issues of the challenge. You ingrates seem positively enamored with exercising your rights to the summation examination. If you just love your rights so much, the prosecution simply asks, well, then why don't you marry them? Oh, yeah? Well, maybe he will marry his rights. Yeah, maybe I will. And that's why my last name is Wright. <laughs> Fuck, that's really that's funny. Really good. What did that obviously made-up story have to do with Bake Off? Minosuke was in Britain at the time. I can't believe I paused bread week for this. <laughs> the idea of them watching the Great British Bake Off together is so good. <laughs> Listen, and what that's does a that great have to do? Show. And what does that have to do with Bake Off? It's just a god tier line. Oh, it's so funny. I, I need no context. I need no context. That's so good. That's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's a fucking god tier joke. Mm-hmm. And that's why my last name is right. right. <laughs> Just random idiot. I was going to send, I was going to send a new turn about time travel, but it's based on a joke in this case, and I'm not sure you guys will get to today. So take my curly haired Asian friend, uh, curly haired Asian Francisca doodles instead, because this headcanon is important to me as a curly haired Asian. <laughs> no, it's so cute. Okay, fine. Yeah. I love that, that she like starts to straighten it over time and then as she gets older is like, actually, no, I like the curly hair. It looks good on me. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love that. Hell yeah. Thank you, Just a Random Idiot. Uh, and finally, I opened commissions recently and I got my first one done for Yen. I'm very proud of how this turned out. Just oh, some nice. classic Nara meets. Yo, that's Yay. awesome. Heck yeah. I love you. These are so cute. And again, that's that's awesome that you were commissioned by another member of the community. Like that's again, y'all are y'all are wonderful. I love that. Yeah. Why back at it again with the Paper Mario Ace Attorneys this time, Susato Mikotoba. I hope these don't become cooker, cookie cutter seeing me. No, these are super cute. Oh, oh, very cute. I love it. Yeah. The next the next thing I want from you, why is neutral and like a neutral like bounce animation. <laughs> well, speaking of animation, I love when they just kind of bounce. Uh, yeah, we've got Ryunosuke walking animation here. <laughs> yes, it's so good. It's really awesome. I love this quite a bit. <laughs> Making your way in the world today. Makes mm -hmm. everything he's got. <laughs> Thank you, Y. Uh, Embry, with more on the Kazuma and Shom Swap AU, I got a new art program, so that's cool. Yo, this is really good. I love the, the, the details yeah. with the hair and everything on, on uh, Iris. This is really cute. Thank you. June, uh, which I think is... No, June. Uh, I drew Pearly as a Great Ace Attorney Chronicles character. I partly drew of her official art to match the style, but I have some free handed sketches uh, of her sprites with it. Yo. Very cute. I love that yeah. dress. Yeah. That's awesome. And holding the, the Magatama at her, her waist instead is really awesome. Yeah. The... Uh, the, the her her like embarrassed sprite mm -hmm. I think is my favorite of all of her sprites. Yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, and I, I like that the hair not being the pretzel up top, but the loop below. Uh huh. That's really good. Heck yeah! Thank you. 
Rook saw this kimono a while back and Susato. <laughs> Yo. That's an insanely That's a cool fucking kimono. great. Yeah, kimono. I like that you open Holy the sleeve shit. and it just adds more to the, the, yeah. the painting, essentially. It's like a triptych uh, dress. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Rook. Got apologist. I didn't have time to make art for the anniversary, sadly, but have some lesbians I drew for an event. Hey, we'll we'll always accept some lesbians here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is really cute. I love this. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Gone Apologist. Uh, sexy Whistle Snail. Oh my God. Uh, devoted to what matters most. Created our favorite hetero couple in mind. This cocktail recalls Desiree's red motorcycle outfit and Ron's status as a confirmed cinnamon roll. Buffalo Trace and Fireball whiskeys liven up with Chambord shaken with an egg white and few other ingredients, giving this sweet drink a spice. Giving this drink a sweet, spicy, and creamy texture. The garnish is a slice from a mini jelly roll filled with cream and raspberry jelly. Holy shit! Yum. That's incredible. Damn. Yummy. Wow. <clears throat> Immaculate, Saxy. And I'm, you, I mean, I'll always go down for an egg white cocktail. So this is, this is. Yeah. Incredible. Also, this is your 20th one that you've made. That's insane. Woo! That is incredible. That's awesome. Uh, These these rock, Saxy. So thank you Saxy, so much for making these. Saxy's getting trashed by now. <laughs> yeah, don't drink them all at once. Uh, and then infamously dark with waiting in anticipation of the fifth act. God damn. Oh, shit. I mean, Dorky, we all Cro know your, your strong Wizard, suit. Chrono you have some competition. Your strong suit is drawing old men in suits, but like, yeah, you continue to, to outdo yourself. This is fucking awesome. Yeah, holy shit. God damn. Uh, I've been able, unable to stop playing Splatoon in my free time, so drawing, so here's my contribution. Edit, I drew Rolly's helmet oh. with the canvas was flipped and didn't realize. Hey, it's honestly, so cute. I wouldn't have noticed until you said something. Holy shit, I love Patricia. So yeah, Patricia's like angry. Like yeah. she looks so angry. She looks a little tiny angry. Yeah, like she's gonna fucking kill you, but it's gonna be cute. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. I love this. <laughs> uh, also, I didn't plan on drawing this, but but the YouTube video inspired me. Also, sneak peek of the drawing I was working on. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, this bit was so funny going back to watch this, the Among Us jokes. Okay. Hmm. Rather sus. You were alone with the body and hit the call button. But my lord, I saw the prosecution vent. Besides, I, I was at comms. Do your tasks, Sholmes. Uh, whee! <laughs> Fun funny, because the judge and I were both at comms, and neither of us saw you there. Yes, good point, Mr. Van Ziggs. F. Then there could only be one possibility. You're both imposters. Susan, why? <laughs> when the imposter is so sicky. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that's so good, Corona Wizard. 